All right, so here is where things are going to get really interesting. This is one of my favorite things to do with ChatGPT. Um, you're going to open the app and you're going to do a stream of consciousness debrief of a meeting that you've had in order to get some next steps. So I'm going to look at my calendar today, actually. It's what I'm doing right now. Oh, okay. This is actually great. Um, I'm going to, I had a call actually with an amazing woman from MIT and I need to follow up with her. So I'm going to open up my phone here. I'm going to hit ChatGPT. And then in the bottom right, you can see there's like a little button that's like uh, not the headphones, but just the audio input. So I'm going to hit that and I'm just going to talk stream of consciousness here for a second. Hey, I was wondering if you could help me do a quick debrief of my call with Marion from MIT. She runs the MAD Institute, which is their design school. She and I talked about a number of ways that we could potentially collaborate, and I'd love to send her a thoughtful follow-up. Let me see what's on my mind. Uh, we talked about potentially doing a rotational program where we contribute to one another's programs. We also talked about maybe an advisory council where I take an outside advisor role on the MIT board to get an outside perspective. Um, and we also talked about perhaps a design conference, something like TED, but focused on students uh, of design uh, to bring together various institutions. She used the word reasonable, so I would love to use the word reasonable. And also, I kind of reacted to it. I said, I don't want to do the reasonable thing, so maybe try to make a joke about being unreasonable. Please give me a memo that I could copy and paste into email. Okay, so right now what it's doing is it's converting everything that I just said into text. I'm not even going to read it. I'm just going to hit up. Okay, so now here's what's amazing. So it's... Sure. Here's a draft of your follow-up email to Marianne. Subject, exploring unreasonable possibilities together. That's great. Hi, Marianne. I thoroughly enjoyed our conversation about potential collaborations between Stanford and MIT's MAD Institute. The ideas we discussed, like the rotational program advisory accounts, were not just exciting, but dare I say, quite reasonable. Uh, while reasonable is certainly a compliment, I must confess that part of me always leans towards slightly unreasonable. As George Bernard Shaw said, the, uh, the reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying the adaptable world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. So in the spirit of being constructively unreasonable, I'd like to explore these ideas further. Rotational program. This could be a fantastic opportunity. Advisory council. Design conference. Let's challenge ourselves in, to turn these reasonable ideas into something extraordinary. I look forward to our next steps. Okay, so this is amazing. But now all I can do, if I just hold this, I can copy the whole thing. I can open my email client and then I can drop it in. And again, it's not that I have to take it, you know, hook, line and sinker, so to speak. But it's a, it's a pretty incredible start. So the assignment now is or the, the, the drill, so to speak, is um, just go stream of consciousness. What I love about doing this is you clearly don't have to have all of your ideas together. You clearly don't have to have your ideas well thought out, right? I love saying, oh, what else, what else? Oh, and don't forget, try going stream of consciousness, ask ChatGPT for some kind of synthesized output, and then use that as a starting point. I find this is an amazing thing to do, for example, after I'm finished with a call and I know I want to get a quick workout in, I'll actually do this while I'm stretching because it's a great way to kind of double dip and, and kind of, what's the word, put on an Iron Man suit perhaps? Good luck.